how to learn all your scales in 24 hours. Now, I'm not going to try to convince you that you should learn your scales. We've covered that a couple of times already. But if you need to learn your scales for school or an exam, or if you're an improviser looking to build your technique, key fluency, and vocabulary, this method is for you. Because you can learn a pretty phenomenal amount of material if you only have a plan and a way to track your progress. Now, this is not the first bold claim I've made on this channel, but I stand by those videos, and this project really is the next logical step, and I've got the math and the method to back it up. Of course, such a claim does raise a number of questions. First, what do I mean by 24 hours? Sadly, I don't expect you're going to know all your scales by this time tomorrow, so I do mean 24 total hours of practice. But there are lots of accomplishments that are measured in hours of time accumulated over weeks or months. So I think it makes perfect sense to think of this in the same way. And 24 hours of practice really is not that much. Depending on your practice habits, you can be done in a few short months, or even weeks if you really commit. You just need to have a system and keep working it. Even light practice will get you there eventually, and you'll have a huge upgrade in your abilities. So just how much of an upgrade is this? What do I mean by all your scales? Well, it depends on a few things. For one, although there are theoretically thousands of possible scales, there's just a few dozen that seem to get used with any regularity. But also, each scale type can be played in 12 different keys. And some instrumentalists even have different fingerings for different octaves. Or you may be a guitarist or vocalist who only needs to learn a scale pattern once. And it also depends on how much you personally need to review to make sure these really stick in your brain and fingers. But I would say, at minimum, with pretty exhaustive review, you could learn these four scale types in all 12 keys in 24 hours of practice. These 48 scales represent what might be expected of a classical musician in a university audition or exam, and they form the foundation to most music theory, so they're a great place to start. And again, that's with a lot of review. If you don't need so much review, or you play an instrument like guitar where the keys don't matter as much, you could cover a whole lot more. Let's take a look at how to get it done. The plan to learn all these scales is based on a method outlined in an older video. I call it the 3000% method, which aims to build confidence and muscle memory at slow tempos, but steadily increases the speed so you don't get bored, and in just a few minutes, you're absolutely blazing along. It's a bit like that old story of dropping a frog into cold water and slowly increasing the temperature, and then all of a sudden they're really good at saxophone. So you start out by playing the scale or passage very slowly, in whole notes at 60 beats per minute and then six more times, increasing the tempo by 10 beats per minute each time. These tempos should allow you plenty of time to think about what the next note is and play it confidently and accurately. When you reach whole notes at 120 beats per minute, you switch to half notes at 60 beats per minute, which is the same note density, and then follow the same process. Play the scale seven times, increasing the tempo by 10 beats per minute each time. At this stage, it's still pretty slow, but there's a certain satisfaction to always increasing the tempo, always moving forward, and all the while you're building muscle memory through perfect repetition. Then follow the same process with quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Every iteration builds a tiny bit on the last, and if you nailed the previous exercise, you're probably ready for the next one. And when you put it all together, it's actually kind of shocking how much progress you can make in just a few minutes. I found this exercise useful for myself and my students for a variety of projects. There are a few things to keep in mind regarding this method, but I really think if you do it properly and don't skip any steps, you really won't regret giving it a try. Now, this whole process is technically less than 10 minutes actual playing time, but in the real world, you'll probably need to add a bar of rest to breathe and hear the next tempo in between exercises, so it actually works out to 11 and a half minutes. And applying this method to all 12 keys of major scales and three kinds of minor scales, that's just over nine hours of practice, which is well short of our 24-hour claim. But I did say we were going to include pretty exhaustive review, so let's take a look at what that might look like. On day one, do the whole sequence. That takes about 11 and a half minutes. On day two, do whole notes once at 60 beats per minute, and then skip straight to half notes and do the rest of the sequence. That only takes about seven minutes. On day three, do whole notes and half notes at 60 beats per minute, then skip to quarters and do the rest of the sequence. Five minutes of playing this time. Days four and five are similar, skipping the full sequence of quarters and then eighths and then finishing the sequence. Each review sequence takes less time to complete. If you complete this whole series of exercises over five days, you'll have played this scale 115 times over 30 minutes of total practice, building muscle memory and familiarity with the scale at a wide variety of tempos. 
Applying this process to 48 total scales is 24 hours of practice. And whether you need all this review or not, once you've learned all your scales and shifted them into long-term maintenance, you can review them all in just a few minutes and make sure they're always ready for you to play. Now, I think some sort of plan is important. You need a way to track your progress and scale repertoire, and I've created a nice little progress tracker based on this method, available for free on my website. You just write the name of the scale that you're working on, and then check off the tempos you've completed at whole notes, then half notes, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. You'll clearly see where you're at and what's next to work on. But if you're a visual learner like me, you'll probably appreciate seeing the scale written down with the progress tracker right beside it. And I've created a free PDF with all major scales in a ton of octaves with versions for treble, bass, and alto clef instruments, as well as versions with piano with both treble and bass clef together and guitar and bass with standard notation right beside the tabs. And to make things even easier to help you focus and not get distracted, I've also created play along recordings for all keys. There's a bar of rest to set the tempo for each exercise so you don't even have to readjust the metronome. Just put on the track and start playing. All this is available for free on my website. But if you're a paid member of my YouTube channel or Patreon, currently for only $5 a month, you'll also get access to all three types of the minor scales, with play-alongs for every single one. And in the coming months, members will get access to a whole lot more too, because I'm going to be adding PDFs and play-alongs for many more scales and patterns to practice in the coming months. And let me know if you have any requests for specific scales or patterns, and I might even be able to add those in too. And thinking of all those other scales brings us to the question, what about all those other scales? Because while four basic types may be more than enough for some musicians, if you're a jazz player or an improviser, you may need quite a lot more. Thankfully, using this method, you can get through them all in a surprisingly manageable amount of time. And since everyone will have different needs as far as review, we're just going to count that initial learning phase of the complete 3000% method and treat review as a separate category. Because once you shift those scales to long-term maintenance, you can review tons of scales in just a few minutes. After the four basic types of scales, you might want to learn your pentatonic scales. The two most common types are the major and minor pentatonic. Using this method, they'll take less than four hours to learn, but afterwards you can review them both in all keys in just a few minutes. There's also your blue scales, which are basically pentatonics with an extra passing tone. They take about four hours to learn, and again, just a few minutes to review. And those pentatonic and blue scales are great for improvisation, as are bebop scales, which come in four varieties. And in 12 keys, they'll take a while to get through, but they're really useful for the people that need them, and they're a huge upgrade in your technique and facility. There's also the whole tone, chromatic scale, and two forms of the diminished scale. Some people consider these scales to have a lot of overlap and keys, but we're taking the scenic route here and making sure that you truly understand how to identify and play these scales without hesitation. And then finally, there's modes. This is a pretty big project because there's a lot of them. Modes are based on the ascending major, harmonic minor, and melodic minor scales, and they give us quite a lot of interesting scales that are often used in jazz. And that is a lot of scales. 33 types in 12 keys comes to almost 400 scales. And if you want to actually learn them all and you have a decent practice routine, you can do it. And using my 3000% practice method, it's really not going to take that long. So can you learn all your scales in 24 hours? It depends on your definitions, but I think by the spirit of the question, yes. And even if you want to go beyond the basic scales and be really exhaustive, it really doesn't take that much time in the long run. If you want resources to help get through these, visit bradharrison.ca slash scales for a free progress tracker and major scale syllabus with play along recordings. Or consider joining my channel or Patreon for access to even more scale types and play alongs with more coming soon. And thanks to my patrons who have supported me so far. They really help make this channel possible. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Enable notifications so you don't miss any new videos and check my channel for more videos on theory and practice techniques. Thanks for watching.